No, oh, it says we're live. That's scary. Live and direct. So hmm. scary. You should never know what you might find here. It's crazy, crazy. I cannot see comments. Well, no, not yet. Well, get it together, Daily. Jeez. I'm trying to get it together. I'm trying to get it together. It's hard. It's hard. Hmm. We're just going to go off the string yard tonight. Hopefully, everything's going to go all right. What <laughs> up, junkie? <laughs> Junkyard? What's See, going on, buddy? We at least have one person. That's all that matters, right? And we kind of got one of the most important ones. So, I mean, you're you know. Saying, you're saying my boyfriend's most important. Are you sick? Why don't no, you take your time? No, you got the wrong number. No, if he keeps you busy, then I get more work done in the garage. I'm just I'm just saying. I, I've got this figured out. <laughs> what John, up, what's guys? happening, buddy? MLH, what's going on, man? All right, so we ain't doing this fandy dandy split screen stuff tonight. We're just going off the uh, the StreamYard comments. They're going to be a little more behind than usual, so you guys give us a little time to keep up and catch up. <laughs> you promised me I didn't have to be able to read comments. Tonight. Did we're we're going to do one one screen because you've been drinking. We're okay. going to do one screen, okay. and we're not doing that other stuff. Okay, you just all you got to do. Dirty digging's <laughs> cooking. Yes, muddy feet. We did it. We just went ahead. <laughs> She's like, hey, uh, I'm drinking. You want to go live? I'm I like, did okay. not say that. I Maybe said, that was me. I yeah. said, tonight is the night. And you said, you want to go live after a while? And I said, I don't give a crap. You, you said, Muddy Feet said, we have to go live. I did say that. <laughs> that's what he said. Mark, greatly appreciate that, man. That uh, that that flag video was, I don't know. I It was a weird video to do, but it, it was fun. It, uh, I got a flagpole in the front yard, flying old glory right now in the storm. So for like the fourth time, yeah. Uh, hopefully there'll be no more times. This will be the one. This will be the flagpole. You finally pole. did it right. Oh, because you worked harder instead of smarter or smarter. <laughs> I don't know. Because you worked and did it right this time, maybe. Tyler, that makes two of y'all. Cheers. <laughs> If everybody would get all their target signs. <laughs> well, Junkyard, I greatly appreciate that. See, if Tyler had me on Instagram, he would know today is the day. Today is the day. Yes. He would know. Well, see, Travis said tonight is the night. Is that? Oh, I started today. <laughs> tonight don't count. It started way long. Well, how, how, what time? Uh, about, Six, about three o'clock. No, I wasn't even home at three. It was four. It, was, it wasn't I after four twenty. I know that. Oh, okay. Hey, Moonshine Danny. What's up, buddy? Where the hell you been? Yo, know, he's been doing. Trying to, trying to get your honor, but come over here, today. do a little swimming. Let the kids hang out. We could. You know, what he's been doing. Hey, he's been road riding. He's been shipping razors today. That's what he's been he's, doing. He's a. Oh no, buddy. Been the fellow. Pina colada is not strong enough. <laughs> I like a little what, uh, harder. What What are you drinking? You want to let him in on what you drink? My boy. Your boy. My boy. I mean, between junkyard, your whiskey bottle, and me, you've got a lot of guys in your life. I'm just saying. It is what it is. <laughs> Takes a lot, a lot of people to keep the queen happy. Sometimes. <laughs> the queen. I'm the queen. Damn. Shit, I messed up. I wasn't supposed to let that one out of the bag. <laughs> I did, Danny. I just got my text. I just seen the picture. That uh, pretty good looking color on that razor. What are you drinking? Uh, I, I am drinking, drinking Chickalobes, as Chickalobes. Mr. Wade himself would call them. I think that was Mommy that started that, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. Wade well, don't even drink chickalos. He will. That's the only thing in the cooler. But that's not what he prefers. No. I love so what's everybody been doing? I had a tweaker ask me today why I drove a big truck. Are you going to do Wade and read the comments out loud? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Paul's from England. Hello, Paul. 
anything for a side job, huh? In the like. <laughs> so, John, let me let you in on a little secret. Uh oh. I am normally the designated driver of our household. Yeah. And, and I don't normally tear on a good one. But about what? Twice a year? Twice a year? I tear on a good one. Today is the day. Paul, we can't thank you enough for joining in, buddy. Welcome to the wild ride. It, uh, a bang pina colada. What the hell is a bang pina colada? With vodka. Ooh. Uh, Danny, we watched that while ago. It was raining at your house before it was mine. I, I'm just thinking I live a little better than you did. I'm not sure. Uh, we talked about that earlier. So. We were pretty glad that we didn't take the boat out today. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I don't know. Is it away. any different than we normally? <laughs> Muddy Feet said a bang pina colada. Look that up. Write it down so I can look it up after a while. And Paul said you did a good job on the pipe pole. And what do you pay per sheet of steel? What did we just pay? Because we just got steel. Uh, what are we talking? Uh, are we talking? What kind of steel? Thin gauge stuff we cut our signs out of, stuff like that. I mean, normally on average, uh, yes, we could have launched a boat in your yard. Yes. We could have launched it in front of the garage. We had <coughs> a monsoon happen. Uh, it's always different. It's always different. Every time I go up there, it's a different price every day. So the quote they give me today will not necessarily be the quote tomorrow. But right now, still prices are down. They are the best. Do you know why? Best ever if you're going to buy. Uh, if you're trying to get rid of some scrap or something like that, they're awful. Terrible. Terrible. In the toilet. What you use? For uh, I use 14 gauge for signs. Uh, it normally is, I would say it normally runs between 50, 60 bucks a sheet, uh, which is not bad at all right now. That is awesome. That's, that's probably the best price I've ever gotten for. Uh, for four foot by eight foot sheet ever. I don't remember getting a better price than that. So did you price AR? Are you uh, I have. It has went down a little bit, but it's hard to come by. And they're trying to figure out if they can get it or not. So uh the AR normally runs about anywhere between five hundred and forty dollars a sheet to six hundred and eighty, I think it's the most I've ever paid. Um, the AR, I, I don't know what they do with the AR. I, I would assume it's, I don't know, it's oil treated the whole nine yards. But uh, yeah, hot road normally cheaper. So, hey, Southern Dirt, look at that. Money Feet's getting you subscribers. Money Feet, you're awesome, brother. He got his dad to <laughs> subscribe. Hey, and you guys are on here and you have not went over to Muddy Feet Concrete and subscribed to his channel. You guys make sure you go over and do that. See that? My dealer, Moonshine Danny. Oh, Moonshine Danny. He's my dealer. He knows what that he got, is. He got special stuff on play. I don't know about no energy drink. Moonshine Danny. In. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that. Three eights, four. Yes. Mile Steel, Emily. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think I'm running. Uh, just regular mild steel, three eighths thick. We're running right at uh, 220, 230 bucks, somewhere right in that neighborhood. But when you jump it up to AR 500 steel, it, uh, it almost doubles. Sometimes it triples. It's uh, it's all what the market wants to do. So no moonshine, Danny. No Jaeger. Mm -mm. God, my face looks red. Am I red? Uh, yeah, a little bit. <sighs> I said that earlier. Could be the uh, Jack Daniels in your cup. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, yes, Junkyard. Uh, AR, uh, especially with a half inch. I don't know why you'd go with half inch, but the price between three eighths and half inch is so dramatic. It's crazy. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, what about? I would always go. What, is, what are you doing? You, you don't ever do shots. Yes, I do. It's you, just been a long time. This is making me very, very nervous. At this You're in charge time. tonight. This could not turn out good. This is probably, if, if you got need, need something on the website tonight, please don't order tonight. 
order it tomorrow. No, tonight's good night. <laughs> I'll be up half tonight. She's she allowed to give order. you a whole lot cheaper price than I know. Discount to <laughs> SOT Metalworks. Oh, Lord. Lord, it's going to be a long day. No, a half inch for BMG. Uh, actually, the BMG will go through the half inch uh, with the right rounds. But Hey, I feel like waiting. I'm trying to keep up with comments. The wife's not keeping up. It's just her. I'm going to smack you. I know. On live stream. With it's witnesses. Okay. That's bad. Wait, I need to roll back up here. What? 150 for a 14 gauge hot roll in here in Michigan. Four by eight. Holy cow. Joseph, that is absolutely. Man, that that is that is crazy. I mean, if I have to pay over 75, 80 bucks for 14 gauge, four by eight sheet of hot road, I'm probably looking for another supplier. Uh I'll be honest. It's it's gotten there before where everybody was right at about 80 bucks, but it's that's too much. Uh, three eighths. Uh, back to junkyards comment. The three eighths versus a half inch. Uh, once you cross the threshold of the three eighths into the half inch, the price for AR five hundred goes up so dramatically, and you get so small of a minute uh difference in the steel. It's it's crazy. Uh, look, Muddy Feet is inviting us to the lake. Oh, I'm in. We're gonna have to bring the harmless farmer though. He invited us to the lake too, so we gonna, we're gonna have to all meet up at a lake. At a lake. <laughs> they just don't know I'm a beach bum at heart, right? <laughs> hey, Walsh Farms, I'm ready to come, buddy. Feet. Walsh Farms, what's going on, Tony? Although, where's Muddy Feet at? Texas. Texas. Their bar is just closed. Back in my old stomping grounds. Muddy Feet, that's a situation. I say that, but like, when's the last time we were at a bar? I was kind of thinking that. You said that, and I was like, um, it really doesn't affect us. I mean, we've been sitting in the garage drinking. No, no, we have not been sitting in the garage drinking. Just tonight, have I been? Drinking. I was going to say, we, we have just been sitting in the garage for the last three hours drinking. Hey, Southern Dirt. He's supposed to be at the lake now. Oh. Dry Lake. J Dog, what's up, man? What is Moonshine Danny talking about? Damn, can you make them stop moving? Who? Who's moving? The comments. I can't do any better. I'm on, I, I put you on the one screen quota here. I... No, Kentucky <laughs> to Kentucky to buy steel. We're in Kentucky. Uh yeah, Kentucky. Uh hey, hey, Ten Tennessee might have better deals than we do. Tell my Catherine Hello. Well, hello, Miss Catherine. How are you? It is good to see you. Dodging tornadoes. I don't care if you get a tornado or not. I don't care about nothing. Either. That's it. That's it. Junkyard. Right. That's hey. What the customer wants, the customer gets. It's that's. I, I completely understand. Sometimes they want half inch and won't do anything else. And hey, I've got it. I mean. We're but good with that. Feet, so the liquor stores haven't closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they close the liquor stores down, uh, I, I, I feel like Muddy Feet may come see us. <laughs> dirty digging. What's going on, buddy? Hey, say hi to he's, Dirty Digging. He's grilling. I've done said hi to him. Where were you? The say, say, say to him again. Hey, Dirty Digging. <laughs> oh, Nothing no, you're wrong. good, Joseph. It, It's a it's a little crazy down here. Tennessee's probably got better prices than we do, though. I'll be honest. You see this They've been open longer. <laughs> so what's everybody been into? Anything good? Stop. My flag is still flying high out there. I would like for you guys to know. Still flying. And you know what? You know what's storm. flying now. Made through a thunderstorm. Your brand new boat cover. Uh, yeah, I got the brand new boat cover in. Not sure I'm happy about it. Um, I'm I didn't get my little it. parts in, but uh, 
but yeah, we uh, we got the brand new boat cover in on the pontoon. We'll we'll get her squared away. Because our other boat cover had holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't wore it out. Look at this dirty rascal. <laughs> oh, the wife's gonna text him back up there. <laughs> Steaks. Oh my goodness. I know, Paul. He's just talking about steel prices. I mean, geez. Budweiser <laughs> and Bud's here. Why? I'm, I'm cool. I, I cannot do Budweiser. I, I apologize. I'm not man enough to do that one. You used to do I, Bud uh, Light. I used to do Bud Light religiously. That used to be the beer of choice. Uh, but not anymore. He just. I can drink one Bud Light or one Budweiser, just one, not not multiples, just one, and have a headache before I can finish a beer. It's it's crazy. So. And then what did you start drinking? Uh, I started drinking Bush after that, which Bush. is made by the same people. Bush, Bush Light. Light. And then what happened? And then you got no, mad no. at me one night, and I went to this because Bush Light makes you what an asshole. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, really. I mean, no, way more out of the ordinary. So I said, it's either the beer or the wife. Chickalo gold. No, come on, Catherine. No. So right. then he no. went to Chickalo. What Trav say? MLH has a camper home. Uh oh, Trav is getting middle shop. Just shopping. invite me down. I'll hang your new sign up in your camper. I have no problem <laughs> knocking holes and things. Anyone like to want to apologize? Um, uh, I did get recorded cutting that out. I think uh, the camera kind of took a crap there. Uh, but What's I did not. What, I did, what is that? What? Right there. What is that? Right there. What? A Quinson? What? What are you talking about? Look, I know right there. Junkyard's comment. Read that. Anyway, MLH, I did not get a picture of your son. So if you could get a really good picture of that, send it to me. That would be uh, very, very appreciative. <laughs> hey, Gordon. <laughs> what did Gordon think? He said, oh, hey. Go. I'm trying to get back down to the bottom. There you go. He just said, hey. Yeah, no, I know. Tyler's wife said the same thing about Bush Light. Makes you an asshole. Right, Tyler? <laughs> it does not. Okay, pardon me. Squirrel bladder. Uh -oh. I'm empty. I'll be back. Somebody else has got a squirrel bladder tonight. It's not me. I'm pretty sure they heard that. I mean, you are just barely behind the camera. <laughs> Half tree server, what's going on, brother? Man, I subscribed to you the other night. I thought you had more videos on there. I, I seen some of them other videos, though. They were pretty sharp. Pretty sharp videos on there. I like them. But uh, I'm all about that tree service stuff. It uh that's pretty cool how you guys do this stuff. It's it's crazy. You guys live a thin line between dangerous and on the edge on a regular basis. Tighten anything down until <laughs> yeah, tighten her down. Tighten the hatches now. Tyler, I'm good to, I'm I'm glad to hear that. You keep drinking, we'll keep drinking, we'll keep live chatting here, and we'll be good. Uh oh, man with a plan is in the house. My goodness, Kurt is up in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Who's this Kurt guy we talking about? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Everybody's got to be good at something. Yeah, I mean, I mean, do you really have to be good at something? I mean, you can just be kind of okay with everything. And that's what everybody's looking for nowadays. Oh, Jamie's almost back in the house. All right, Muddy Feet. Be safe. Be careful, brother. Don't rush on our account. Go eat them good-looking steaks. Oh, dirty diggings eating steaks too. I mean, Why is everybody I, eating steaks? I mean, is there any beef left in the United States with everybody eating steak tonight? Are you, you going to fix me steaks tonight? Because you're in charge. Maybe. It's a, it's a high probability uh, that's not going to happen. 
You suck. <laughs> Hey, we, Farmer Chris. We did not plan to go on. Oh, what's going on, buddy? Hang on. I want to show Farmer Chris what I'm drinking. Uh oh, he'll appreciate uh -oh. it. Chris, it's it's a wild one tonight, brother. It is a wild one. I uh, I apologize for throwing you under the bus the other night with so, uh, the subscriber mm -hmm. count and uh, Jason works a lot. Uh, I'm sorry. So. Farmer Chris is a man after my own heart. He's a connoisseur. He's he, a connoisseur. He, he likes to drink my boyfriend, Jack Daniels. Oh. But I'm going to get Farmer Chris to drink some um, some of this. Farmer Chris. Show it up there. It looks better. We need, oh, wrong way, some <laughs> of that. But we won't talk about the other bottle I've already drank. Uh, yeah, Farmer Chris, he... Uh, the regular shit. She annihilated the whole bottle of the uh, regular Jack a while ago. It was terrible. Todd has Paul, you never too. know who Paul, you never know who might just show up up in here. It it's it's crazy. It's, what? Wait a minute. I saw an inappropriate thing. J Dog! What? I am not that drunk. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, later. Just don't give up my yeah, just act like That's, you didn't even see that. See, comment. Farmer Chris, that is the good stuff. See, even J Dog said good stuff. The I started stuff. off with the bad stuff, and now I'm drinking the gooder stuff. <laughs> Louisiana Dirt, what's happening, buddy? How are you doing, man? Holy cow. I ain't got over and caught a video or two of yours here in a little bit. It's been a little bit. I love his profile picture. <laughs> He reminds me of a superstar. So distinguished. Yeah, that's what it, it's on, distinguished. <laughs> that's right, Junkyard. Celebrities hang out here. Hey, Johnny Walker ain't nothing to slack at either. Yeah, yeah that's a good shit. No, no, no. I can't do that Johnny Walker. Oh, yeah. No. I don't drink Jim Beam. I don't drink Johnny Walker, and I don't drink, drink no turkey feathers. Blech. He's camping. camping. What do you mean, dirt camping? That's we could have went camping, about. but it's kind of storming, like a whole lot of storming. We we have gotten no no J dog, no turkey feathers, no 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 <laughs> bad experience, no. I don't know if Chris is getting anything over there or not, but uh, we have gotten probably two inches of rain in the last three hours. That's probably. where it's that's what's pretty wrong close. With Jerry. You see that? He likes the gym. See, I. Jim does not like me. Now, MLH, I can drink early times. I can do that. Early's not bad. Not bad. I'm a Jack See, Daniels. Woodford Reserve. Woodford uh, Reserve. Maker's Mark. Knob Creek. Crown's not terrible, but it, it's overpriced. Does that make sense? What, Crown? Yeah, I don't pay for Crown's Crown. Crown's not bad, but it's it's completely overpriced. J-Dog, it's raining here in Kentucky. It's like thunder booming, storming, lightning, raining. Yes. Uh, we've been getting some bad ones. Uh, it's been oh, no times like the early times. I've been early times. <laughs> and you know what else? I, they're going to laugh at me, but I can drink some very old Barton on occasion. I was On occasion. I'll be honest. That was some pretty, back in the day, that was some pretty good old straight whiskey. It was smooth. It didn't hit Now, back hard. in the day. I drink Mad Dog 2020. Come on. Oh, uh, uh, you might have some in there in the refrigerator. I'll be honest. No, that's Shelby's. That or uh, Shelby's for me. Little less than something. Yeah. Hey, Richard. John Wheeler. Hey, Pam. No. How you doing? Oh, dirty digging. That's why that whistle pig got sent home with you. Cause I don't need no hair on my chest. <laughs> Moonshine Danny. I heard no whistle Talk pig was a biter. I love, I love but, uh, her. The old whistle pig. He, he, he might jump up and bite you. So. Farmer Chris, you're going to have to get you some Gentleman's Jack. I'm a Jack Daniels girl, have been for years and years and years, but Gentleman's Jack got me hooked. Yeah, you got to say, you you got away from Gentleman's Jack for a little while. Yeah, but I wasn't drinking Coke. Because you got a little burnt out. I wasn't drinking Coke, so I was drinking Coke Zero. It don't yeah. taste the same. Yeah, not even close. It yeah. all depends on what you mix with. Yeah. Mountain Dew. Chris likes his Mountain Dew. See, J Dog said everybody had Mad Dog 2020 back in the day. <laughs> what did this turn into? A drinking live stream? What the hell happened here? 
<laughs> Pennsylvania. Tyler's got rain in Pennsylvania. Jack Daniels and Mountain Dew. Oh, no Mountain Dew. Yeah, Farmer I'm, Chris. I'm pretty sure Chris is in, like Chris is on the uh, Mountain Dew kick and then, or the Dive Mountain Dew. I can't remember. And then Wade's all, Wade's all about his Dive Mountain Dew. No, I'm a Jack and Coke girl. Hey, Caden Ramp. Caden Ramp says hey. American. Caden, what's going on? Hey, what your the buddy hell is was American on here. American Honey Moonshine, Danny. The American Honey. That's the. Uh, I drink Kid Rock's thing. I don't. I don't know. I've never had it. Um, moonshine, Danny. I drink moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Maybe if you'd come see me today. Single barrel untapped. Say, Chris has got you. Single barrel is a little rough. I have to like warm up. <laughs> yeah. Louisiana dirt, don't. No, don't I don't. If don't I go, go to the bar, the bar right? what do I do if I go to the bar? I get a shot of Jack and a Coke back. Yep. <sighs> See, so Haps, mix around. Haps, I understand that completely. Hap Shreesur said his wife said he was an asshole if he drank, but that's why you had to switch beers because you was too. Yes. <laughs> what? Why do we have that's, Harry Potter on this? That's why drink? I have to. Uh, what the hell? It's a ad thing. Moonshine Danny, I would come see you, but I cannot drive. In the fridge right now. What's, why don't y'all come see us? We don't have to come see you. Then. I am not, what, are we inviting them The over? pool is 93 degrees right now. Well, we don't, like getting in a hot tub. Like it's 9 o'clock at night. We don't have to get in the pool. <laughs> what do you think? Three inches? Oh, hell, I've done drink a bottle. I'm on the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer Chris needs to catch up. That's, that's what she said. I didn't say it. I, that's what I said. I mean, it's pretty much. John Willer can, said. Can you get that? Absolutely. John Willer said Mountain Dew and vodka. Vodka just does it. Some kicking chicken. I said, uh, back in the day, we used to drink, uh, the old whiskey we used to drink around here was fighting cock. What is the kicking chicken and fight? I didn't drink no fighting cock. Yeah. Yeah, you did. If you ever been to the Hoosier, you drank fighting cock. I did not drink fighting cock. I drank Jack Daniels. Um, Joe Garden, no. There is no mixed drinks on SOTMetalworks.com. But you can come visit and I'll give you some mixed drinks. Uh, yeah. yeah um, I mean, if Junkyard would put that link up there, everybody needs to make sure they go subscribe to your channel. Miss SOT Metalworks. Right. Farmer Chris. I mean, it has been three inches of rain here too in the last hour, if not more, because we had a whole yeah. pond in front of the garage. A whole pond. Uh, somebody decided a while ago when we were sitting in the garage they needed to uh, use the restroom. And, no, I uh, had to pee like a, like bad. Had to pee in the rain. It was terrible, <laughs> and the neighbors might have got a show, but it just is what it is. Because I wasn't making it to the house. <laughs> oh Lord! Are you laughing at me? No, it's been an interesting evening, though. I can say that. It's just because you don't see this very often. Caden Ramp tonight. Is a Jack night. It's not a Jamie Juice night. It's not strong enough. <laughs> Danny said it's Morgan David 2020. Only a what? connoisseur of alcohol would know the original name of Mad Dog 2020. I'm empty. I'll be back. All right. Be, be safe. Be careful. Yeah, yeah. Come back when you can. Oh, you're good, Junkyard. It's all right, buddy. Don't worry about it. We uh, we got all that stuff squared away. Oh, it's it's a little nuts around here right now. <clears throat> well, there's a high probability that Danny, very high probability. Of I would say she is, though. <laughs> Junkyard, you go ahead and quit working so hard. That's that's crazy. So I need to go ahead and click on that one, and that way I can jump over to her stuff and cancel the live stream. <laughs> oh, she's back there in the background hollering. I don't know. I'm not so sure what's going on. Ah! 
MLH, uh, it's a hundred percent, man. Uh, you just uh, the bottom of the bottle. That stuff is just crazy. I think it's just like wine. You just, I don't know. <clears throat> I drank it back in the day because it's a damn cheap. But I'd put it in the cooler for the girls and show yeah. up at a party and everybody have a good time. So if I run out of drink, I might have to try to some of my new stuff. What's your new stuff? Um, the Riff and Moonlight something. Oh, I don't know. Is this some stuff we were supposed to pass off to? No, this is what I got uh, for Jared Christmas. Last time? This is what I got for Christmas. <laughs> oh. So the dirt about to make another trip up here. My goodness. Come on, brother. We're here. How to make homemade sushi and I'm about to hurt myself over here. <laughs> don't, These. Don't uh, don't drink so much in one time. Or don't eat so much in one time, John Carr. This midnight moon. What the heck is that? Where the hell did you get that? I got it for Christmas. Oh, it's a bad part about living in the bourbon state. People just hand you stuff. That one? New Riff? The That's riff. supposed to be good. That's high dollar. That one? Chris, Chris, Chris is that a whiskey one? connoisseur. Chris, help us out. Chris, yeah. are any of these good? I got them for Christmas. Don't break them. I'm not going to break them. Chris said he's going to have a party when you bring him a bottle. Whenever he invites me to a party. Okay. She said whenever. She said, all Chris has got to do is invite us and she'll bring a bottle. I got a whole bottle. Nuts. I don't know if that's high dollar or not. It just. Uh, I have a whole bottle of crap. Free stuff. Just, just no, free stuff. It was my Christmas present from my set daddy. I got a whole bottle of crown too. Yeah, you, you forgot to mention that. Yeah. I mean, it's. I don't know. She ended up getting three four hundred dollars worth of liquor. I got a case of liquor for Christmas. I cannot help it. <laughs> she got bourbon everywhere. I need to come visit. I come on, in, brother. It'd be good. I live in Kentucky. Come on with it. We are the bourbon state. Nuts, how you been doing, buddy? Have you been staying safe? Our Chris said he never had a bad bottle of bourbon. That's why I <laughs> like him. <laughs> he said cheap presents. <laughs> no, Pete. They was not cheap. Well, well, it might have been. Yeah, it might have been. <laughs> Louisiana Dirt went duck hunting with Mad Dog when he was 18 and he hasn't touched it in 30 years. Yeah. I went to a field party with Mad Dog when I was probably 17, 18. And can, until the other night when the youngest daughter brought a bottle in, you hadn't touched it since. Oh, no, I drink it after that. Oh. Well, there are many nights that I go, whew. Nuts. We're good. We're great. Soak some grapes in pure grain overnight and then make jello and ice trays with a grape in each hole. They will mess you up. Um, Moonshine Danny does my fruit. Man with a plan. Moonshine Danny is in charge of my fruit. What the hell is 10 high? Farmer Chris, what you been drinking? I've never even heard of that. It gives him headaches. Morgan David. Moonshine David. I am so sorry. Morgan David. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yes. Morgan David. Morgan David. He's hyper focusing. Danny, have you took your pills today? Just check. Ask him for a friend. Hey, Jason. What's up? Oh, look, he said to you. But Jason, what's going on, buddy? Fuck. It has been. He'll get to barking there in a minute. There's been fireworks going off everywhere. The dog is just not into it. Farmer Chris. Uh, so if he is, starts barking. Cheap is not always good, Farmer Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheap, cheap is sometimes good, though. Your chickaloves are not cheap. I'm not drinking cheap whiskey. Cheap bourbon, cheap none of that. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, sometimes cheap is good. Bargain shopping is okay. ML8 had Mad Dog in Bush Party. See that? Woke up with the dog. 
Not sure if she was mad though. <laughs> Okay, Farmer Chris, I get that. I'm gonna put whiskey. It, it, yeah. I mean, it kind of falls under the point of coyote ugly. I mean, did, he has not what? Did you, did you have to chew your arm off? I mean, just keep from waking her up. Moonshine Danny, you have not what? Hey, Tom. Tom, what's happening, man? Unemployment whiskey. <laughs> Paint. <laughs> Boone's Farms is good if you get the right one. Uh, you get, yeah. Next time. We need you you got to be a wine connoisseur. No, uh, you got to be a Boone's that, Farm connoisseur. That, Good wine is not Boone's Farm. I was going to say, you didn't let me finish this. You got you to gotta be a wine connoisseur who failed wine connoisseuring. And uh, then Boone's Farm is like, oh, it, it's pretty good. I like Fuzzy Navel. But isn't that the one? with It's like orange looking. Ah. Uh, how many times have I drink it, crap? Mahi, never. Mahi, uh, maybe tuna. never. Jason's got tuna. <coughs> You're 90 miles offshore. Do you know I'm a beach bum at heart? <laughs> Farmer Chris, we need to have a high school days reunion to the alcohol kind of party. Jason, that's crazy. You're making me jealous. I just want to let you know you're making me jealous. Yeah, we need to have a party. With old school alcohol. With like old what school we alcohol. Drink you can't school. you can't bring anything. You get you get charged twenty bucks. That's it. Twenty and bucks? It, Why are you out of pay? You get you get twenty dollars to show up at the door and all your alcohol is included. No. You, bring you, your, you don't get to pick. No, it it's should all be all the stuff. It should be bring your favorite alcohol from your teen years to the party and share. Yeah, but everybody's gonna sneak in other stuff that they would have brought. And couldn't afford. What did you drink time. in your teen years? Before you was 21, what did you drink? Uh, pretty much anything. It was in my dad's liquor cabinet. What did you drink? Like, name it. Uh, Bud Light, Miller Light, uh, whatever kind of whiskey was in there. Johnny Walker Black. Uh, I don't there, there was a bunch of off-brand stuff. You drink Johnny Walker Black. You can't drink nothing but beer or you become like Dude, that's why I can't drink Jim Beam. I can't even stand the smell of. I can't even stand the smell of bourbon hardly because smell my I drink so much. By, smell my jack. I can't. I, it's okay. Because <laughs> I drank so much back in the day, it was ridiculous. We're not keeping up on comments. Catherine's gonna be my DD. I love Catherine. Do you know? I agree with Danny. No. Danny had a very good comment. Oh, bathtub hooch. Although, there was this guy. Do you know who I'm talking about? I'm not going to say names on, on YouTube Live because I'm not that drunk. But there was this guy that had bathroom tub hooch at parties that we both went to, but we weren't dating or nothing. We and I would talk not to... drink bathroom. No, no. We're talking about Jay. <laughs> would you have drank out of his bathtub? Hell no, we wouldn't drink out of his bathtub. Yes, need flash the trash can. Who said that hooch? Mushan Danny, you need to make some hooch. Let's Michael see. Robbins, what's happening, brother? I don't I mean Michael's got all the money. We need to get Michael to make us some Who? Trash can hooch. A, Michael who? Robbins. I don't know who that is. Michael, I apologize. She's been drinking. Look, Farmer Chris said they had a new plastic trash can. A new one. He's lying. They didn't have no new plastic trash can. Look, I Chris love went Farmer out there, Chris. took the hose of that joker, put some bleach in it, cleaned it out, and called it a brand new one. That's what he did. It's okay. I like Farmer Chris. I would drink your trash can hooch, Farmer Chris. <laughs> Jason's going to bring his moonshine. Look, I'm going to really read. I don't know. It, but, <laughs> but in all the days, all the stuff we did back in the day, John's we drank out of trash cans. John, I'm sorry if I offended you. I apologize. It's just today was a shit day. So today is the day. Yes. See, I, I agree with Kurt. And all the stuff we did back in the day, we didn't have to worry about the coronavirus. 
killing our ass. Are you worried about the coronavirus now? No, because I drank out of water hose when I was eight years old. I'm good to go. I healed everything. I'm drinking out of cisterns. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Does you drink out of the water hose like when it wouldn't get cold and it was hot and it like yeah, hundred and five. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> and I drank every bit uh, of it I get hold of too. Night, John. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. I promise. Night, John. Be safe, brother. I promise to be sober next time. No, she can't make those promises. She don't know when the next time we might go live is. I only get drunk like twice a year. I'll we only, only, we only went live tonight because Jamie's drinking. And you never know what might happen. What may happen. When Jamie's drinking. So, Junkyard, you're criticizing me because there's a camera and I'm drinking? He might not be my boyfriend after tonight. <sighs> more things change, more things stay the same. What is that? <laughs> it's them pop up things. It's all about StreamYard, man. Give me your phone. You're getting text messages that you're not checking. I'm not getting text messages. Yes, you look, hear? Louisiana Dirt said right there. Look at your phone text. Hey, oh, crap. See? Who's trying to get me or you? <laughs> Junkyard did say he doesn't he want to block mail material. So. What are you doing, boy? What are you doing? Louisiana Dirt, are you camping? <laughs> I'm so jealous. Maybe you can take me camping. Look. If I had a camper like that, I'd be camping too. Holy cow, buddy. My goodness. Aren't you guys a camper like that? You yeah, know, you, you get spare rooms. We'll come down and hang out with you. Oh, we'll do a live stream from your camper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to text Moonshine Danny. Yeah, it's uh, Catherine. It is is ended a few in its day, and it started a few in its day. Uh, may or may not have started this relationship. Uh, alcohol. Just what? Has a, she said alcohol has ended many relationships and started a few. You were my first and one and only one night stand. But you keep telling people stuff on this live stream. They're gonna know more about us than we shit. want to know. I don't care if they know anything. Here, take your phone. <laughs> oh, it's about to get good, boys. You might want to stick around for this one. <laughs> Pete, I don't want responsibilities either when I go camping. If someone would take me camping. <gasps> Dirty diggings, bud. Moonshine Day sent me to some text. I'll be right back. All right. Be right back. Hurry back. Get back as soon as you can. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Junkyard, that's about right. There's a, quite a few uh, child support cases got started with alcohol involved. No, it's child support. <laughs> I can't. Oh, Kurt, I can't. It's, it's, it's just too much fun in here right now. It is. Oh, it's it's been it's been a good time tonight. Jamie's had a rough one. She deserves to relax, chill out, have a good time. She don't get to do it very often. But she was all about. She's like, I, I'm like, I'm thinking about starting a live stream tonight. She's like, Oh, I'm I'm in. I'm wholeheartedly in. <coughs> oh, Paul's not going anywhere. Well, thank you for sticking around, Paul. That's right, Jared. I never seen dirty digging drink ever. I don't think. I'm I'm pretty sure. I told Moonshine Danny to come get me. Hey, look, Jason just made a Jason just told Jason me who? Um Jason, Can I'm all about Florida? some Florida and all about some fishing. He can't hang with us though. Because I fish, I will fish him. He get hang. He well, gets I mean, tired of it. Don't you? What? 
get tired of fishing before I do. Yeah, but you'll sit there with a the pole all day trying to catch something. I, I'm like, no, we ain't catching nothing. It's time to rope. It's not called catching. It's called fishing. There's a difference. No, when I go fishing, it's called catching. No, Dirt Perfect does not drink tea. And normally, I'm hanging with Dirt Perfect because I don't drink either. But tonight, special occasion. No, probably not, Kurt. She, you'd be good. Colorless purple dye. It can pull. I don't care. No, that way when you pee, you can see the purple dye. No. Do you pee at the pool? No. Me neither. I pee in the river. <laughs> what, Catherine? Dirty Digging never pisses off his front porch. No telling you. Let's go see Catherine and Jared. Schedule it. Uh, I like that beat. Shit happens. <laughs> All right. You go Shit happens. You thing? Yeah, I got it. Shit happens yeah. about twice a year for me, Pete. This Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. No, Kurt. No turning my skin purple. Jared, did you get drunk at Cattleman's? The better question is, what did you eat at Cattleman's? We ate at Cattleman's. It was pretty good. A little expensive, but pretty good. Mr. Daly, I can't believe you convinced me to live stream when I'm drunk and I can't read the comments. And now I have no comments, Mr. Daly. Catherine, you're supposed to save me when I have no comments. And Junior's still peeing. I hear him. It's been a crap day, Pete. A really, really, really crap day. I had to go to a funeral this morning. A whole lot of family drama that happens in my world. It's just been a crap day. Catherine, I wish you was here too. I'm trying to get daily to come see you. I took vacation the week of August 17th, the entire week, and we haven't decided where to go. I'm always working. Oh, uh, no. I'm off the entire week in August, and you're going to take off too, just so you know. I thought we were going to the beach. Look, Paul said, look right there. They can hear you peeing. <laughs> well, the bathroom is like right next door. It's okay. You guys don't pee? I understand. Look what Jason said. Oh, uh, wait. Hold up. Oh. Catherine, did you have to wear a mask here? Catherine, uh, we have not ventured out to an actual restaurant. That's right, Jason. It's just called fishing, not catching. No, I like Jason's deal. This is like called drinking beer and throwing a pole in the water. I, you drink beer. I'm kind of into that. I you? will fish. Speaking of beer, can you give me one? How much do you love me? A uh, bunch. How much? Show me. More than the world itself. You're so full of shit. Oh, wait. I'd, I'd go to the moon and back for you. You don't ever open my beers. Some, some stuff's about to go down, apparently. No, nothing's going feeling kind of nervous. Kind of sketchy. CRS is great. Wait, What's wait, that? wait. What did Catherine say? Junkyard, what? Kicking chicken is wild turkey. Habs tree service. I don't drink no turkey feathers. Blech. Yes, junkyard. Everything came out okay. Dirty Dickin said the margarita was awesome last night. He does not have a good prostrate. He has to pee every 3.5 seconds. Catherine, what did the staff wear? You understand. If you tell everything you know. 
I don't tell everything I know. Already saying you won't know nothing, right? Jared drank freaking margaritas last night. When are you gonna take me for margaritas? Like, I'm so jealous. I'm in, Jason. I'm in. You tell me where to be, what day, what time. Gator hunting. Uh, what, shoot them, what, Elizabeth. What? Shoot them. <laughs> can I uh, go? Can I go? Sometime in August. We're gonna be down that direction. August the seventeenth is when I have vacation. I don't uh, took off. Shoot me an email. Can I go gator with you? And one of those right there. Can I? Can I just? And me and Jamie, Jamie will come down there. We we'll square everything away. We'll find the hotel room. We get squared away. We'll, Jason, we'll wake up, man. the week of August seventeenth. I have a vacation August planned. Seventeenth. And I have booked nothing. And wherever you're at, we just we'll be down there on vacation time, Catherine, and we'll just try to link up and, and go for it. Oh, do y'all want to know my mask mentality? Can I say? Go ahead, Kirk. Tell us. All right. So I worked in healthcare for 20 years. 20 years. Let me ask you this. Can you smell a fart through blue jeans? Yes. Why? Yes, you can. If you can smell a fart through blue jeans, you can probably catch the Rona through your mask. I'm just saying. Okay, that's it. I'm not going political anymore. I'm done. That's all I had to say. Oh, Lord. What are you doing? Yes, Jason, he flushed. I would not tolerate it. Actually, twice, to be honest. <laughs> Don't be wasting our water. We have a well for God's We have a sake. well. We're not we're not in our city water where they charge us for the time we use it till the time it goes out the other end. We we don't get charged. What am I trying about? Southern dirt. Wait, go back up. Would you calm down? Not everybody is against you, okay? They're they're all I don't think to be anybody's against me. Everybody should be my friends. I'm great. Don't you know I'm great? You guys I mean are you going to pull for me all night long? And no. Just... I put up with your drunken shit all the time. Tonight is the night you put up with me. Sorry if you don't like it. <laughs> 34 foot. Holy shit, Jason. What is 34 foot? It's a boat, apparently. How big is our boat? 20, no, 24 23. Foot. 23? Dirty digging. We only need masks until November, and then it's all. Yeah, I, I really don't see how Biden's going to win when he puts. I don't want to get on the political thing, but how do you say, "Hey, we're going to make mask mandatory"? If I win the presidency, I need a I, shot. I'll be you, back. How do you do that? How? You okay? I'm good. Are you sure? Nope. I don't. I don't think she's good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm great. You you okay, Nana? Stop it! I am not down there. <laughs> you jackass! <Pretty> close. <laughs> I am not. Stop it! Had to, I might have to go over and pick up Chris and have him come back over here and whew, pick up Miss Sot off the floor. Scott, what? <laughs> She's cussing at me the whole way in there. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Paul, I don't, I don't blame you, buddy. Sometimes she gets a little, little too much. I ah, can't open it again. Oh man, this ain't. Why do you keep putting it in the freezer for? Cause I like it cold. Cause it freezes a dead gum. I don't tight. care. I like it cold. Oh, make me look like a. Don't bang my bottle. I hear you so well. No more drinking for you tonight. Oh, hell yeah. I'll get it over You got to stay yeah. sober. No. <laughs> uh, Southern Dirt, uh, I got one of those too. Pizza. <laughs> I was... I was trying to uh, say, hey, uh, it, it won't open.
Yes, we need to move the wine fridge into the uh, into the office, Catherine. I, I think right here under the desk would be a perfect location for the Joker. <laughs> She's trying, Danny, but I'm. We really don't need to open that box. <laughs> Ty, Tyler, uh, my woman is not scared of that in any way, shape, or form. Um, if you would ever meet her in person, you would understand that. Uh, She's fairly happy. So I have to open it this time. I don't have a choice. I got a pour for porn on a live stream. Don't spill it. That's good. Right there. That's the situation. Did, did you just about to cut her off, boys. We're about, not. About, about to cut her off. Guys, help me out. Help me. Help me. Two motors. That's a situation. Yeah, I don't. Jason, I ain't got two motors. Uh, yeah, Chris, I pretty much figured that's going to happen. Uh, that's a high probability and a very good chance of that. Can you get my name? Yeah. <laughs> you answer the comments. I got to get out of your way. No, answer the comments. Well, I can tell you that Catherine said she's on my side. On your side. On your side doing what? I don't know, Catherine. Oh, it was just my vape. I knocked it off. Yeah, uh -huh. Yeah, sure you did. Farmer Chris, I do not puke. That is a rule. Like only maybe once or twice ever. No, Moonshine Danny, I did not have a strike. A stroke, not a strike. Party foul. See, Muddy T, I would not be so drunk if Junior <laughs> fed me, but he has not fed me. I'm just saying. Thanks. Got to learn how to hold your liquor. Okay, I stopped at Muddy Feet, so you got to go from below that down. Oh. Catherine, Junior does not get to, to cut me off, ever. He owes <laughs> me so much, he would never dare. Oh, I'd never cut her off. Mm. Mm, no. Farmer Chris is correct about what? Can you scroll up where I can read Farmer Chris's last comment? You did a while ago. Remember? Oh, God, is it hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's hot. <laughs> Farmer Chris said, he, No, you will not tell them I don't puke. How many times have you seen me puke? One. Twice. Just one. Twice. When? Uh, I, once when the girls was here and then once the other time. No, I didn't puke when the girls was here. Yeah. No. <laughs> Man, we're playing. Jake, you're all flush. I uh, know. It's hot, Kurt. How do you probably feel? Jesus Christ, it's hot in here. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Thanks for helping me out. You're supposed to calm her down. What happened? I'm calm. What the hell? Ooh, that chair moves too much. It's hot in here. Stop laughing. I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> They're going to see me hurt you on the last stream. Hey, Barbara Chris said, go ahead and put it in a pony. Give me a pillow face. <laughs> Do you have a fan? <laughs> Stop it. I can't. <laughs> Tell, totally and Ali. Just totally. Totally. See, Catherine, he totally. just needs to calm down. I am fine. I don't know what his problem is. <laughs> All right. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to put a poll out there that says, how many times have I been Money this feet. drunk? You're supposed friend? to have my back. What the hell? <laughs> I don't ever get drunk. Like twice a year. I deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. I don't know if I deserve it, but you deserve it. 
Farmer Chris, I do not throw up. Hey, we got to cut Farmer Chris slack. I mean, after uh, me putting his... Uh, Look, I have a bone. His YouTube channel and everything up there on the uh, Dirt Perfect live stream. Does he have uh, a YouTube channel now? Well, I, I'm, he's supposed to have. Farmer I'm not, Chris, I'm I not love sure. you. We need you to uh, have a YouTube channel. The, there was something there with him and Jason. What, uh, Pete? <laughs> you see Pete? I am not naked. I am completely covered. It is not as good as porn. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, you knew it. <laughs> oh, Kirk has a good idea. Can I use your cooler? Go for it. No, I'm not using your cooler. That's terrible. Instead of having muddy feet on our Wait, can podcast, we can have uh, stinky feet in my cooler. Like, Paul is screaming at you. Can you read that? I can't. What, what? Paul? Paul, why all the caps? I don't understand. <laughs> Help at the bar. <laughs> Junior Lama. Throw under the bus, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I get thrown under the bus sometimes. It's uh, Sometimes it's a struggle. Some, Danny, sometimes it's if hard. this goes bad, I'm calling Pammy to come take care of me. Yeah, I, they were supposed to be here the hill. I, I called back up. I called Moonshine Danny and said, hey, you guys come over. You did? Oh, I, I pretty much. Did you call him? Told him, hey, uh, you guys come and swim. It, it was code I word had a bad for. Day. Did you tell hey, him I had a bad day? Hey, Jamie is drunk. Uh, can you come help me? Uh, that was code word. Apparently, I need to work out uh, better code words. Honey, just... <laughs> I'm so sorry you're getting Pete hot. Good for you. I'm so proud of you. Yes, Tyler, subscribe to Farmer Chris, please. Yes, everybody, subscribe to Farmer Chris. <laughs> And if you guys haven't done it yet, make sure you go over there. Subscribe to Moonshine Danny. Are you coming out of the closet? No, I don't Southern, have a closet to come out of. Southern but. Dirt said you're coming out of the closet. Moonshine Danny said he was busy and he don't read your code very well. <laughs> oh, it's all right, buddy. Oh, my God, it's hot in here. Can we get a fan? <laughs> No. Actually, I'm kind of cold. You're a fucking wussy. <laughs> my legs is cold. Let me see. No, you're not. Man with a plan, we can put anything on sign. You hook me up. You just email me at jamie at sotmetalworks.com and I will take care of it. Stop laughing. It's so funny. All right, shut up. I need a drink. I'm waiting for some videos from Farmer Chris. <laughs> oh, we're all waiting for videos from Farmer Chris. I'm going to go to the farm. Uh, Do you think Farmer Chris would let me come video him at the farm? You, you should probably talk to, uh, to, to uh, John and what's, uh, her, what's name? her name? I can't Do remember. Do you remember? Uh, uh, Olivia? Yes. Uh, you, you, should, you should probably can I coach video them you? into uh, into videos. Catherine, my pool is ninety three degrees too. <laughs> Tell her it's so hot. It's yeah. terrible. It's terrible. It's like a, it's it's like like a pretty day. hot tub. It's like a hot tub right now. All right, I need a shot. Hold up. Yeah, it's gonna go all night. We're in. We've been in uh, in a notorious uh, situation where we've live streamed for five and a half hours, I think, before. But no, this this one won't go. No, don't take it. Oh, oh my lord! It's about to be bad. No. Dude. All right, so back to I some pass out. Metal work stuff. Tell him I will pass out before six hours. I think we'll be on six hours stream. Oh. 
Farmer Chris, but if I come record you, then you have time to record. But I wait, wait, Farmer Chris, you have a combine, right? Does he have a combine? Yes. Oh my god, I so want to ride in a combine. It's like on my bucket list. Can you ask him if I can ride in this combine? I'll videotape for him and make him a video. I even have what's that shit? Dirt perfect use, Klein Master. Yeah. Yeah. See, Farmer Chris. I even have Klein Master. <laughs> I will do it. I'll make a video if you let me ride in your combine. I so <clears throat> want to ride a combine. Even the damn kids at the farm machinery show have such a long line. I can't even get in the combine. It sucks. Fucking kids. No, Catherine, we're not deleting nothing. I mean, I'm going to be in all honesty. You guys should be just like blowing up my super chat right now because I'm having to deal with this. <laughs> I have to deal with you all the time. You can deal it's with me great. twice a year. Twice I mean, a year. You can deal with me. I, I, I should be. No, getting, Pete, he's not going to get I, lucky tonight. I should as be soon getting, as I hit the pillow, I'm done. I should be getting sympathetic super chats right now. I feel it. I just, it's just crazy. Jesus Christ, it's hot in here. Can you open the window? It's hot. Open the window. I don't know. It's right behind you. That was so hot. It's not fair. It's 71 degrees. I take care of you. You should take care of me, asshole. Oh, damn. I can't get it. Get it. Get it. Do it. I'll take care of you. I drive you everywhere. Take oh my lord. It's a window. Open this one. Let's open this one. Just open it. It's hot. Oh, my Pammy. Hang on. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so. So back to those sympathetic uh, super chats. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to help out, I'd appreciate it. It's uh, Chris said, "Sorry, Junior. I don't know about a combine ride and the climax master." He could handle it. <laughs> he might not be able to handle it. I'm going to be honest. Look, I kind of think that Farmer Chris is one of those guys that could handle it as long as there was not like any strings or commitment or nothing. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, you're pimping yourself out for a combine ride? I just want a combine ride. That's all. Just a little bit. No, no. I'm pimping you out so I can have a combine ride. I'm just not saying. giving Chris a climax. Oh I'm sorry. I'm out. For opening the window because it feels much better. <sighs> Junkyard, you better take them smiley faces away by hell. <laughs> Money fade, I didn't really mean it. That was a joke, damn it. That was a joke. It was a joke. It was, it, it was a joke. It's totally hot here. <laughs> <laughs> Money Feet's doing his best to make sure I keep track of him. Can you hold that? It's empty. Can, can you give me one of them? Yep. I got you. Money Feet, I can't thank you enough, brother. Wait, wait. Wait. Let me take care of you. Now, look. Look, this is going to make Junkyard very you, jealous. You want to trade him? No, I don't want to trade. Hold that glass. Thanks. Damn, you can get the top off this time? Yeah, because I put it in the cooler, not the freezer. The problem is, I'm almost over. And you know what happens? Look, when I get done with this, I'm switching to Moonshine Danny. Just saying. Just saying. Farmer Chris! I just, I don't you drink my whiskey? I just really, really, really want to ride in a combine. It's like on my bucket list. <laughs> Chris, I apologize. This is making your Saturday night. I <laughs> it just. <laughs> Junkyard's mad at me. 
See that? I'm going to get away from that. So sorry, junk card. You should be here. It's not my fault. He don't ever come around. How are you going to have a boyfriend off somewhere if he don't ever come around? I don't know. He was supposed to come see me like months ago. He didn't come. Like, I don't know. The only thing that saves him is that Lynn is my sister wife. What? I mean, should we get him on the live stream? I mean, if I remember his email, we'll send him an email. He can get on the live stream. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Is Catherine still on here? What are you doing? Email. No, go down the bottom. Email right there. Mm. You're going to kill our, our live stream. No, I ain't killing our live stream. Look, I cannot see myself no more. You killed our live stream. No, I didn't kill our live stream. Junk card. <laughs> he said my wife ain't even seen me the last few months. <laughs> yeah, he's lying. They went on vacation and everything. You know how jealous I was? They went to the freaking beach. They had the white sands in there. Was I jealous of Junkyard? No. I was jealous of his wife because they went to the beach without me. It's not a very good sister wife, Junkyard. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I, I really love it's how... It's not a very good sister wife. I, I, him. I really love how Lynn is so much taller than he is. Is she taller than him? <laughs> you can see the pictures. I love Lynn. him, her, and the kids. I just love her. She's my sister wife. Don't tell me. I, I mean, Junkyard's just a, a, he a little feller. <laughs> I refuse to comment. I played the kid. <laughs> Lord. Catherine was cleaning up dinner. Muddy Feet might be able to jump in on here too if he wants to. I don't care. Whoever wants to jump Are in. Are you going to feed me dinner at some point tonight? So that Eventually. Can, can you please feed me four Motrins with that dinner? Danny said, beat you suck. Danny? Move on, Danny. Where the hell are you? Like 20 minutes. You know what? I haven't read comments in like 20 minutes, so you gotta catch me up. What happened? I don't know. Last time I knew, I was arguing with Farmer Chris because I wanted a combine ride. Chris, it's all your fault. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Don't be mean to him. I want a combine ride. Be nice. How about Knob Creek? Richard, Knob Creek. I like Knob Creek. <sighs> are we talking about the drink or are we talking about the shooting place? Yeah, that's the difference. <laughs> yeah, need a whole lot of Gatorade to cushion all this stuff. Holy cow. Oh, the best Gatorade is, don't you? The orange? No. Yes, it's the orange Gatorade. No, it's the white cherry shit. Say, yeah, the white. I knew you was going to say that. I knew you was going to say that. Should have called that. Not my fault. Junkyard, what are we sending the email about? God, if you quit moving, I can read that freaking comment. Send me a text. Send me. Send me an email. I'll, I'll get you hooked up. No, look. I have my phone. Send me one. What are you doing? We're going to send Junkyard's email. I cannot see me. You don't have to. She always thinks you've got to see her. Just mandatory. Y'all bear with me just a minute.
Keep bearing with me. Keep bearing with me. Oh, hell. Did you tell Pam I said bad, not <clears throat> bath? What's up, dude? What are you doing? I'm working. working. I am screwed up. Why are you working? You're emailing people. Yeah. Can you get that? Nope. Really? Get that. Why well, it's always in trouble? No, dirty it's always, it's always my fault. Two, two feet away. Hey, you can do you get not that? drink red Gatorade. No red. It's only the white. Just turn the light off. She fell asleep. No one would. Tell him the full shit. Pam. He's talking about Pam. No, he's not. He should have a junkyard. I'm not sure. Did we? I'm not sure. But we do. Oh, it's working. Good. We got to plug in our stuff, though. I do not have. I do not have my stuff plugged in. Don't go bear with me just a minute, brother. There ain't no problem. I'm trying to get the comments up. Listen here, Moonshine Danny. I will not fall asleep. It's not happening. No, Pete. No aspirin. Got to take Motrin. What? What is that swing thing in your background? Well, yeah, if you remember, my son commandeered right, my room. Right here. See so that? that is his hammock swing. Let's see if that new Volvo. Hey, Mr. Richard. Junkyard! Hey, Where baby. been all my life? Well, your sister wife has been keeping me a baby. <laughs> what? She's probably still watching on my phone, by the way. Hello, Miss Sister Wife. Wait. I'm not in the picture. Hello, Miss Sister Wife. I apologize. I am screwed up. It's been I wanted her to come in here with me, but she wouldn't. And it just happens. And I love you. I love your husband. I love the babies. Just saying. No, Muddy Feet. He will, he will not let me get a Jeep. I want a Jeep, but he will not let me. Yeah, Moonshine. I'm here just for moral support, you know, just to hold Jamie's hair back. <laughs> I don't need you to hold my hair back. <laughs> I have Pentagon. I don't need nobody to hold my hair back. Sam, I appreciate you jumping on, brother. Yes, sir. I appreciate you having me, boy. It's been a long time since I've done a live or been on a live. Why didn't you tell me my boyfriend was coming on? I mean, what the fuck? Well, I, I thought if you'd been paying attention to our live stream, you would have figured out what was going on. Dude, they they like said... I am drunk. I don't pay attention to nothing. Come on now. Get over here and, and tell all these people. Just no. tell. You cannot love on me when my boyfriend is on the live stream. Exactly. Come on now. For real. On, on a live what? Stream. Stream. I mean, um, Junior, uh, hold on. Are you sure that's a good idea? I yeah. didn't move. No, no, no. The good idea is this one right here. Oh, I keep going. On. Hold on. If you have a plane ticket, I'm on the way. It's about to get ugly. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. If you come get her tonight, she's your problem, not mine. I don't have nothing to worry about. I'm going to wait until about uh, 4 o'clock tomorrow after she's done with her hangover and everything. Then I'll come get her. She no, it won't work. She'll be sober then. Exactly. Junior does not need moral support, Moonshine Danny. I swear to God. I will smack you. <laughs> I mean, Junior, were you not listening to our boxer conversation earlier whenever I told her? No, to he's not listening. He don't care. I was so, mad yeah. that I wouldn't be there to take advantage of the situation. He don't care. Babe, if you're still watching my phone, I love you so much, and I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, I appreciate that, man. <laughs> Tyler Sparks. Don't you know I'm the one that gives discounts? Don't be supporting him. Uh, junkyard, I got a question. Uh huh. I mean, it's a pretty serious question. Oh, Lord. That, uh, 
I kind of see why Jamie likes you because can't put the top on that. I had a, a thing in the background there. It looks like one of those swingers. I like swings. Swing, swinger swing things back. Uh, it, it wouldn't work though. I can promise you that. It wouldn't work. I tried. It Man. won't work. That's just terrible. <laughs> but no, this um, this used to be my office, and then my son took it over, and he always wanted one of them, so he got it. How's the How's the little junkyard doing? He doing all right? Yeah, he's doing good. He's um in Louisiana right now. Him and his older what? brother, and I mean his younger brother, and all of them. They went down there to see his mama side of the family. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. So they keeping them squared away then. Yeah, pretty much. They um they pretty much spent the summer with us, which excuse me, not me, my wife, because you know, they always refer to this house and everything else as my wife's. So but they spent pretty much the whole summer with us. Is that uh is, is that uh speakers interfering with anything there? Have I got it going on? I don't think so. I ain't got no feedback on my side. Anybody got any feedback on the video or anything? Y'all let me know if you do. <clears throat> All right, Muddy Feet. Be safe. Be careful, brother. Stay safe. <laughs> Muddy Feet, have a good one. Dirty digging. I'm I'm not going to comment either way. Jason, how's it going? <laughs> it's been a bad day. You better run home to ask for me. Oh, she's had a rough one, junkyard. It's been it's been crazy around right here. She uh, she had to go to a funeral for a great great grandmother. So a great great aunt. I'm sorry. Apologize. Well, she deserves some drinks now. Yeah, it's uh she uh you know how it is. She met up with some older family, uh family she hadn't seen in a while, and uh I don't know. Thing, things didn't go terrible, but they didn't go great. So it's all what it is. I have just as much trauma as you do. That's like they asked me this year if I would if I would be upset about working Christmas Day and Thanksgiving Day. I was like, uh, no, not really, because you know I don't talk to half of my family three hundred and sixty three days a year. The other two days are just making a perfect year. You better talk to That's only if Lynn lets you. Lynn is my sister wife. She will let it happen. I love Lynn. Don't you know that? I love Lynn as much as I love him. I'm trying to get Lynn to come in here, but she won't. That's all right. Tell her to text me. Can you put me some ice in there? It's terribly hot. Where, where am I going to get ice from? Right, is that cooler right, right there? No, it's not hot in here. It's pretty much not hot in here. Well, you look like I'm like, I'm cold. I'm thinking about putting some flippers on up in here because it's Slippers? Uh, Do you own flippers? Yeah. They're called socks. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Junkyard, you're going to have to help me out with this. I, I don't know what to do with this one over here. I'll pour another drink and let her keep rolling. He can't handle me, Junkyard. It's not my fault. He can't. Well, I, I don't. I mean, you know. He's he a, a tough bill on him right now. You check. You get it yet? Hang on. Barbara Chris, hang on. I really want to ride in a combine. I might even want to ride a combine as you know much you, as I you, love junk car. You, you know you can't ride in the combine until November, right? I don't care. And, and, and you got to remember, you can't play with the Climax Master while you're in there. <laughs> I do not have a Climax Master. <laughs> I have a plug in. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one hurt. Wait, I'm wait, <laughs> wait. No, what's that thing? What? Shelling wheat next. I'm so, I so Shelling want. Wheat next week. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot about wheat and stuff. Yeah. Look, and he put it on there. We're shelling wheat next week. Oh, wait, that's not right. Oh, my God. She's about to send you a, a text, Chris. It, uh, oh, Lord. Oh, that's so good. I'm going to warn you. When she sends this, don't don't take it to heart, okay? Don't. 
Oh, wait, hold up. Junkyard, I so apologize, Ooh. but I love Farmer Chris as much as I love you. Just saying. Well, I mean, you know, that ugly devil sitting beside you, he's already taught me that I had to share. So, you know, it is what it is. But in all honesty, can you get any better looking than this Joker right here? I mean, yeah, like, I mean yeah. look a little farther over. I mean, you know. I look good. I smell good. And people like me. Does that look right? Before I, say I don't know. Just say it to me. Just read it. Just hit, hit that button right there. <laughs> I didn't even read it. I just sent it. Can you please read that? I said, want to ride in the combine of the damn kids at the farmer's shooting. <laughs> She is so mad about them kids at the farm machinery Fuck show. yeah, that money I have to take a picture of fucking kids. Fucking hey, 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 watch the F-bomb. So sorry. Catherine's in here for Pete's sake. Catherine don't care. <laughs> my bestie. Listen. I have to go back and find a comment real quick, y'all. Give me a second. Junkyard, <laughs> do not mess with me. Catherine is my bestie. So stop. <laughs> Just saying. All right, Kirk, I went back and found a comment. And um what comment? I have been drawn for like an hour. Kirk, Kirk put on here, oh my god, it's ugly's twin brother, but I didn't know Kirk was in here with us. Let me tell you about Kirk. What? Because I mean I am the most prettiful thing in the world. You be careful. Jamie Jamie's a Kirk, not uh Jamie's not a Kirk connoisseur. Kirk is so mean. He's just mean. Junkard, tell him not to be mean. Kirk is borderline Yankee. I mean, that's just the way he is. I mean, you know. He's a Yankee. He acts like a Yankee sometimes. I mean, think about it. I have an American flag in my yard. Tom, what's going on? Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> Tom, what's going on, brother? <coughs> Farmer Chris, have you met us? Farmer Chris. Family channel here. We are not family channel. Yeah, family channel. Quit cussing. <laughs> Did I cuss? Huh. 42 times. I deal with you a lot. I, I mean, you know, cussing. had I not known better, I would have thought you were a meal right. As many times as you dropped the F bomb in one sentence and made it make sense, I would have thought you were a meal right. At least I made it make sense. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm like, whoo, George, you were back in the day. What the hell happened? No, a dad, a single dad. There's one fucking time on the fucking bar on the top of the fucking thing, fucking, fucking, the fucking, fucking, fucking <laughs> There you go. Hey, that's mill right language. We're all used to it. <laughs> Seven times in one sentence. Do I need to have a bed? No. All okay. right. Just Tell look me. at the camera and say. I um, cannot even see the camera. Where's it at? The camera and say I apologize. Can you tell me where the camera is? <laughs> not, a, not at this particular moment in time. Hey, not my problem then. <laughs> I'm not be recording this for a video on my channel. <laughs> Probably ain't your cow, is it? More my pasture. Talk my bullshit. Tom, if you just got home from work and just tuned in, you're about to see some exciting stuff. Um, no, uh, Farmer Chris, we are not a family channel. Have you met us? No. Our kids are grown. We are not. We are not. We are not. Are, are we going to make that comment again? What comment? The, the That's Farmer Chris family channel. You know this for a second. You were at the Farmer Chris comment. I love Farmer Chris. I love Farmer Chris on most of the Olive Junkyard. The only reason I love Junkyard more is because he lives by my Tabby Island. And I want to be a beach bum. I'm just hey, you just you know which, Junior, I sent your wife a beautiful sunrise picture the other day over Tabby Island while I was working. <laughs> he makes me so jealous. Like, I hate him and I love him all at the same time. Who? Hey. But the truth is, I really love his wife. Who? What guard? Well, you can't even get her on the live stream. No, because she don't like it. She says we're all freaking nuts or something, probably. Dude, I'm sitting here like, I mean, I'm not going to get it real close or anything, but you see where I've been trying to get her to get in here and she won't come in. All right, I'm going to get her. Hang on. And Lynn. 
Hang on. This could be sketchy at the very, very least. Do I need to warn her real quick? <laughs> it's Tracy, yeah, I, right? I, I would holler in there and say, this hey. right, right there, that one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I would holler in there and say, hey, uh, there's some shady stuff about to go down. You might want to holler back. <laughs> I just told <laughs> oh, she's watching on my phone, so she already knows what's about to happen. <laughs> hey, I was showing you what. Jamie, look at the camera. Oh, uh, now he's back. Never mind. What's up? Why don't you leave again, dude? Wait. One time I left, and then. Shut up. You can't have no. Jamie showed up. <laughs> Because I got over maybe you don't. Sorry. Yeah, dirty digging. Yeah, we I've already warned her. <laughs> there you go. That's a good one. Mm. They, they can't see it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm drunk. <laughs> Sam, did you get your boat? Did you get your boat squared away? What's up? Uh, no, yeah. but I did get a new motor for it. What? He has a, does no. he have a boat? You no. have not been working junk. You have not been watching Junkyard's videos. Last I saw, he had a kayak that had a hole in it. I fixed that, but now I got another one. But I mean, I have three boats, but I got one that I'm working on right now. She just don't keep up like I do, buddy. I'm she, she don't. She don't love me like you love me, Junior. I I love you, buddy. Do you have a boat that your wife and your girlfriend and all your kids can come boating? Yes. Okay, I'm in. Can we go? The week of August the 17th. No, no, we aren't getting booked. We're going to Florida. We are? I don't have nothing booked. I'm waiting on, on, on what's the name coming back. Many feet. <laughs> he sucks. Any other time, she'd be the person squaring me away. But. <laughs> but. <laughs> Oh, she's not drunk. Oh. She's just slightly intoxicated. You see this? That's the problem. <laughs> Wait, this way. That right there is the problem. No, that's not the problem. What's the problem? The bottle over there. I don't see no bottle. You see a bottle? Well, it was over there. It's not <laughs> but it's empty, there. so it ain't there. No, now. it's not empty. Hold up. It is not empty. That's close enough to it. No, it does not count. This is empty. Oh, my Lord. Just saying. Chuck Aaron, when's the last time you was on the live stream? Uh, the last time I was on yours. Wait. See that? Hell, six, six eight months ago? Look right really? There. Okay, yeah. What's that say? Don't not drunk the name, just happy. Always you're just happy. I'm happy. PC, you just happy. I'm always happy. Happy. Hey, junior, junior, look into that camera and, and tell my wife that she's got to come in here for a minute. Lynn. Lynn, please come save me from the stop. As as Is my aunt. Unadulterated sister wife, could you please adulterated? Come I said we're adulterated to the junkyard. Junkyard, tell him we come no. to say hi. You don't have to stay, just come say hi because I love you. Please tell me you're Jamie's sister wife, right? You, sister you, wife, you should come say hi to me. Oh, wait, I have text messages. Hold up. Because it's one of those deals. Lynn, you never know. Wait, once once you try me. it, you might like it. She just hollered down the hallway and said we're killing her. So maybe if we keep doing it, she'll come in here. So I'm blowing her phone up right now. It, everybody on the live stream needs to say, Lynn, 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 Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear ducks quacking in the living room, so I know she's getting my text. Wait, crap, crap. Well, Southern Nerd, all I can say is pour up, son, pour up. 
Southern dirt, you just got to catch up, brother. I, I mean, it's sometimes, hey, people can't sometimes keep up with us. Hey, is it just me or is my camera real grainy? I, I, good job, Wade. <laughs> my camera just looks real grainy for some reason. Hey, speaking of which, speaking, yeah, talking sense. to Wade. What do you mean, can't But I have what? Okay, sounds good. Babe, can you bring me a rag so I can clean this camera since she said I made it worse? She said I made the camera worse. You can't do my see that. I don't care. And don't put that on there. Then it's got everybody's phone number on there. Rookie. She don't, y'all. She don't know. I'm about to take this damn camera in the living room. Oh, never mind. I want to sleep in my bed tonight. <laughs> Kurt, <laughs> Kurt, <laughs> you're out of control, Kurt. Now I'm pulling away. No. Oh, that's better. Man, that looks. It actually does. That looks a lot better. Yeah, what you did? I learned a thing or two from Wade. Did you, you file the, Wait, the glass off the camera? Nothing. Have you watched him? Don't lie. Jenny watched Wade today. It was like a maze. He's like, holy cow, what's he doing? What are you doing this for? What are you doing that for? Because he was cutting a hole in the sawmill. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Time out. All right, y'all. Here we go. Oh. Lynn. If you love me, love me, love me. No, she loves me, not you. And Jamie and Junior, you'll come in here and just stick your head like right there in the corner and say, hi, and then leave. I love you, though. She needs to stay. Is she coming? I'm waiting. Yes, Pete. DOT does frown on that on a regular basis. On what? You hadn't commented back yet. I'm not drinking. Are you drinking? I'm drinking a lot. Um, but Jason, I want to come for a ride. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Junker, we, we need to meet dinner with Jason and hook up, man. That, that's going to be a wild ride right there. Woo Florida. Florida. What part about. of Florida are you in, Jason? I might not be too far from you. Yeah. You could probably beat me there, Junkyard. Catherine, what the hell? You'll be right nah, back. Junior, I drive a Honda now. I doubt it. <laughs> That's all right. I drive an old Chevrolet. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to moderate just a little bit. I, I got to stay off the gas pedal. So. <laughs> well, I sold my baby, believe it or not. So The second one, the first, just the first one, right? Yeah, and the second one's in the process of possibly leaving. But hey, I like my little Honda though. Twenty dollars a week, go four hundred miles on the tank. Catherine, it's not Fourth of July. I found a three quarter ton Chevrolet two thousand four. Uh, extended cab. I take that back. Not extended cab. Four door. Uh, two thousand four. I already said that. Uh, one hundred and fifty six thousand miles on it. For eighty six hundred dollars, it's got right. six zero in it. Um, I don't know. Uh, trying to think all the shit it's got on it, but I can't remember. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. But it sounds like a pretty good deal. Like, you can start jump on it. <clears throat> jump on that quick. I'm still trying, by the way. But Miss SOT says you okay. I uh, can't get it to work. You can't get a word from the living room. Hmm. You can't get any words from the living room, or what? Mm -mm. Well, let's see. I, I, uh. 
Somebody needs to scoop me on that 6 Vortec versus 6 I, there's three different engines that come in that year uh, with the 6 shit. So, I don't know. I, I didn't do a lot more research. I absolutely love the 6 I just hate the 4L ladies. I hate them with passion. I don't know. For $8,600 for a three-quarter ton. Uh, with I a mean, seat. that's, that's that, right in line, in my opinion. It's, it's fairly cheap for around here. Well, I mean, you think about it. I sold a two-wheel drive GMC with a salvage title on it with 400,000 miles on it for two grand. So, right. I mean, you know. I mean, I'm looking for something, something to pull the boat, something to, I mean, be around for a little while, but I don't want to spend an arm and a leg. And I don't care. I you know, if I got to buy a damn Chevrolet with a diesel in it or a Ford with a diesel in it or whatever, got to put a bed on it, I, you know, I'll square all that shit away. But it's got to be a fairly good undercarriage, fairly good in shape truck. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you, like right now, if, um, in all honesty, <laughs> I hear you, Kirk. Yeah, she's beautiful too, ain't she, Kurt? She just won't come in here and show a beautiful face on the camera. <laughs> but no, nah, in all honesty, if I was gonna get a three-quarter ton or a one-ton truck with a diesel in it, I much as I hate to say it, I'd go with a Dodge. But yeah, I've been that route too. I'm, uh, but I'm trying to figure it out. You know, what what do you want to go with these days? Do you want to go with gas? You want to go with diesel? Mm -hmm. You know. I'm not I'm not going to pull that truck on a regular. It's good. Yeah, in my honest opinion, unless you're doing some hellacious pulling, you really don't need the diesel. Yeah, I mean, I'm going I'm to pull a boat six times a month. I mean, and it's a pontoon. It's not like it's, you know, it's not like it's gross weight or anything. I, I mean, I'm fixing by a skid steer with a small trailer. I mean, it's it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a giant skid steer. It's gonna be as small as the small. So I don't know. I hate to go with the diesel. I hate the diesel prices. Prices on diesel are always more expensive. I mean, we got we were pulling. Sorry, but I had to just stub my nerve finger. But we were pulling a twenty eight foot triax with dump trailer. With uh, the uh, matter of fact, the same setup. If you remember the video I did where I was roasting everybody, that yeah. I sent you, Mike and Brandon, yep. that same setup was a diesel. And then we had another setup identical to it with a, I think it had a 5.4 in it and an F350. And the gas engine was pulling just as hard as the diesel and getting better fuel mileage. So, I mean, really, it's to each his own. Now, if I was pulling all the darn time, then yeah, I'd, I'd have a diesel. See, Tom's got a good point, but McCandlin's got a good point, too. Five cents higher here. It is 76 cents difference between gas and diesel here right now. Diesel is 76 cents higher per gallon than gas right now. That's, that's crazy to me. It, I understand that I'm probably going to get a better pulling capability, the whole nine yards out of a diesel. But if I'm not going to pull on a regular basis, where am I going to save that money? Mm -hmm. that to me. I would only, I'd be better off going with gas. Yeah, I mean, I like I said, with that 550, I was getting like, I think I was getting seven miles to the gallon before DOT shut us down. And with the gas engine, my uncle was getting eight and a half, nine. And I mean, that's both of us loaded down, both of us running 90 mile an hour on interstate with them, running 75 on the back roads with them. I mean, you know, we didn't cut them any slack. Now, the 5.4 did run a little hotter than the diesel, but I mean, it was really no big difference. Now, whenever we put the excavator behind them, 
Yeah, you could tell the difference then. But yeah, as far yeah. as you know, everyday pulling, I mean, you, know, the difference. you pull a light or you you just pull a skid once in a while or something like that. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Small skids here, boys and girls. I'm talking about cheap of the cheap. Like I'm looking at some Jason Works a lot stuff that I can, <laughs> I can make something out of nothing. You know, yeah. that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, Jason, you're about uh, five, five and a half hours from me. An eight one vortex. I didn't you know Chevrolet made an eight one vortex. That is freaking. That's got to be a house daddy. Holy cow. Uh, Pete, I'm not sure. I'm hoping. I'm praying. Nah, she ain't went to bed yet, Pete. <laughs> She didn't tell me she loved me yet. <laughs> She's allowed to be in there uh, talking to John, trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, uh, you never know. Trying to find out where Earl is. <laughs> yeah, she, she might be talking to Earl. There, there's all possibilities that are very easily to. You might as well just go in there and throw a blanket across her and let her sleep right there tonight. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, when she when she figured out what I wanted to buy tonight, oh, and just tore her up. I mean, you take you take a skid steer. You can't buy much of a skid steer for fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars. No, you're not getting much. You're getting a very basic mid. I mean, just I don't know. It's it's pretty shitty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're trying to buy a truck on top of that. Uh, yeah. I'm going through that right now with my new setup, which we'll talk about that a little bit more off camera. But um, whew. I went in there this morning for a console and everything on it. And what I was told on the phone versus what was actually available, it was about a four, maybe $5,000 difference. But, I mean, I know I can make it pay for itself in no time, so. See, Jason, Fort Myers, Florida. That's a hop, skip, and a jump. Oh, hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah. And I come down there and do some fishing stuff. Holy cow. That'd be awesome. If I could ever get some time off, it wouldn't be bad going down there. But right now, it looks like I ain't never getting any time off. <laughs> Good Lord. People driving me nuts. Kurt, I'm going to look at that after a while. But, uh, I've been looking for, I've been looking at trucks pretty hard. I've been, we're, we're fixing to need one and fixing to buy one. My mama got her new ride this year. So hopefully next year I'll get my new ride. How's that one turning out? You just hmm? a review on it. Ain't done a review on it. so. And we ain't got enough miles on it yet. <laughs> the most miles we put on it was going, well, we went to Cherokee in it right before all this corona mess. And then we just did that little trip last week. But, I mean, it still ain't got no miles on it. But as far as comfort, yeah, I mean, I I absolutely love it. I wish we'd have got one a whole lot sooner. You tell them. Yeah. Tell them about yeah. it. Yeah. It is a, I can't remember what trim package it is, so I'm sure my wife would chime in right over here, but it's a 2019 Ford Flex. And um, it's a, for a Ford, it's nice. It's it, real nice. It is, they are nice. They, they are nice. I mean, it's, I, I absolutely love it. It's um, it's one tier down from what John's got. Oh, really? Yeah, I think he's got the titanium, or either he's got the platinum, one of the two. But we're just step below what he's got. You talking about the trigger down? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're one step below the one that he's got. Yeah, he's got the platinum. I think. I think. Okay. Yeah. Is is the platinum the one that makes the longer one? Yeah, um, 
which I think his has got the sunroof in it and his is leather as well. So he's got he's got three row seats in his. That's what we got. You got three in yours? So he's got four row seats. He he bought the one that yeah, he's got the he's, he's got the step right above us, yeah. But I mean I could get in the back in the third row seat. Actually, my eleven year old kicked me out the front seat, you know, because he's actually married to my wife. You know, that's his wife, not mine. But he wanted to ride in the front seat with her a while back. So I got in the far back and I had plenty of leg room. I mean, plenty of room. So it was it's actually a pretty nice deal. I yeah. love it. And mom was happy, so can't ask for more. But anything is better than that darn fusion. My God, I hated that fusion. That's a good deal. Appreciate that, man. <clears throat> Junkyard, keep me entertained. I gotta go check on uh, Miss SOT. I'm trying to get caught up on Dern comments here. Why did he leave me in the spotlight? Right, you can do it. Good Lord. I guess he thought y'all want to look at my beautiful mug. But yeah, Jason, I'm right on the Carolina Georgia line, so I'm not that far at all from you. Run back through here and see if we missed any other comments. Southern Dirt, I had 420 on mine, and she ran like a sewing machine. And that guy that bought my truck, he was ecstatic with it. So things run forever with a little bit of maintenance and keeping everything up. Well, Peter, I appreciate that. I, I do my best to look better than him. I mean, I do have a little more gray hair than him, but I do my best to, you know, to make sure I always stay better looking than him. As long as I look better than SOT and man with a plan, it's a good day. Miss Catherine, we need to send you a link and get you on there so it could be the Catherine the Junkyard Show. <laughs> Y'all, it's been so long since I dealt with StreamYard. I don't even remember how to operate this thing. Ah, right, there we go. Why don't you remember how to operate this thing? Man, I, I was <clears throat> I messed up and hit the darn private chat. Instead of the live comments, and was trying to figure out how to get it back. Ah, Miss uh, Miss Sot is talking to Ralph. I just time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jamie. Her, her and Ralph are best friends right now. <laughs> yeah, Miss Catherine, my wife will not get on these videos for anything. I've actually had her in a couple of my videos, and she made me delete her out of them. No, nah, she's been in a couple though. Couple photos. You got you got photos. Yeah, she, I got photos and everything over. I've been trying to get her to get in a in a few videos, but she won't do it. That's because she knows how crazy you are. She just can't keep up. Nah, I'm the most civilized person out of the group. <laughs> Except for me. Except for me. Yeah. Man, I appreciate you tuning in tonight. Like, it's it's been a it's been a pretty good time. Oh yeah, man! I appreciate you all inviting me in. Say what, Chris? Say save the big chunks. Go fishing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, Chris. I'm I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to. Uh, she's trying to flush them down the toilet at this point in time. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try to save all of them, but I don't know if I can or not. It's oh, uh, man. Junior, turn your phone on silent tonight because I am gonna blow her damn boxer up at five o'clock in the morning when I leave the house. <laughs> I am gonna make her regret this drunk. Uh she's paid her days today. I uh, she she has had a rough day. A day that uh I wouldn't wish on anybody, I'll be honest. Yeah. It uh 
I don't know. It's she had to deal with family she didn't normally deal with and doesn't normally associate with, and she was very respectful, and uh, it got the best of her. I'll be honest. So don't don't you guys uh, look down on her no way, shape, or form. It uh, it was a little rough on her. Gone fishing with Uncle Ralph. That's right. <laughs> I think I just ripped the damn chair over here. Why the hell you want to do that? Uh, I didn't mean to. I was just. It was. It was in the way. I'm... Oh Lord! Let's see if I can figure this out to where. Don't let your stakes be getting cold. I, I don't get it all in there. What's What's that say? Is it focusing? Uh, barely. She said she's about to go make her a drink now. Uh oh. You are yep. now. Yeah, don't let them stays get cold, Southern Dirt. All right, so Miss Miss SOT ain't in here now. And it's it's almost eleven o'clock. The boys has the country fell the fuck apart or what? Yes. I mean, I, I, it's not like SOT to get into this stuff, but boys is getting rough out there. And I don't know how well you guys are prepared, but there could be some shit going down here shortly. Yeah, you see where Pete just um, put a comment over there and said there was a shooting at a Walmart distribution center in North Carolina. That's what made me think about it. Yeah, man, this all of us getting stupid. I mean, they um they got us on lockdown so tight at work, man, that we can't even fart without getting a written permission. But, but I, I mean, I hope everybody's prepared at home, guys. It, it this could get rough. I oh, mean, it's, it's going to get rough. It's going to get real bad. I th I think the only good thing is Trump did set a precedent and said, "Hey, if you're messing with stuff." There's high probability you're gonna get charged with it. So, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know. It's just, I mean, I'm, I I'm a firm believer it's going to get way worse before it gets better. But who's to say it's going to get better? Did uh, you had any problems down there in junkyard? Yeah, um, about six miles from where I work, they had a pretty violent protest. About 45 minutes up the road from here, they had one. And um, they actually, this small little town I live in, they had a protest, but it was a a very peaceful and respectful protest. And there was people that tried to, you know, get it out of hand, but it was shut down real quick. And it wasn't shut down by law enforcement. It was shut down by the people that were doing the protest. But it's just... Well, it uh, I mean, I ride with Snap Rusty in the car with me. I hate to say it this way, but... You know, if it comes down to it, <clears throat> I'm not scared to choose my life over anybody else's. And, um, it's you know, I ride right. snap rusty every day, just some of the places I have to go through going to work. We, uh, <clears throat> we had one here and it was, uh, so we got a Confederate monument down next to the river here in Brandenburg. Mm -hmm. Uh, it come from Louisville because they wanted it gone. It come from Louisville. They brought it down here. We made a whole big deal about it. Uh, it got put up down here. Uh, somebody and the group decided they were going to come down here and tear the statue down. Uh, our boys would have none of that. Uh, they said, no, that's not going to happen. It's, it's not going to take any. Uh, that's not going to happen in any way, shape or form. We had over, I don't know, it was 300, 350, 400, I don't know how else to put it, rednecks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that showed up and said, no, we're here to protect the statue. Sorry, that's, that's part of our heritage. Mm. Well, they they did their thing. It was fairly fairly peaceful. Had one, one bad episode. Um, just somebody getting a little out of out of shape, uh, but it got it got squashed pretty quick, and statue still good to go. But you know, 
what are we doing this time of age? I mean, are we going to get rid of all the heritage and and all the history? You're going to rewrite the history books? I mean, that's basically basically what they're trying to do. But I mean, you know, in a way, to begin with, let me put it this way: what it started out as, in a way, yeah, I understood it. But what it's turned into now, I don't understand it. And uh, Mr. Chris, you said a mouthful right there. Yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> one thing that I will say on this, Mr. Chris, and then I'm leaving it alone. The United States is one of the best countries in the world. I mean, I was hands down. But what's going to come into the United States and what's going to happen on these souls? United States citizens, they ain't ready for it. They're not ready for the level of evil that they're trying to bring upon themselves. I'm, I'm just going to put it that way and I'm going to leave it alone. They've never been they, They've never been in a position to where, uh, I mean, you had to protect your family or anything like that. No. Mm -hmm. There's very few people on this live stream or anything else that's ever said, here's the deal. I've got to shoot this guy or I've got to protect my family. Uh, I, I mean, I, I'm not trying to, I don't know. I'm getting pissed. It's, it's, a, it's a decision. In May. <laughs> that nobody, it's a decision nobody wants to make. No. And, it, I it, mean, exactly. it's one hell of a decision to make. That, that's where I was trying to go with that. that yeah. Nobody wants to be put in that position. You make a 100% correct statement there, Sam. They don't. <laughs> but there's there's very few people that's had it. And it's like that uh, all these Democratic cities have just gotten blown out of proportion with this stuff. What? Why? I don't understand. Some Democrats are perfectly fine, but I hate to say it this way, but after November, it's all going to calm down. But the problem is no. how much damage is going to come about before November. You know, that's the biggest thing to look at. I don't know. Really. How much damage is going to be done for the common folk? Before we finally have to stand up and say, okay, enough's enough. Yeah. That, I, I think that's probably the biggest thing that pisses me off is, okay, it's getting to the point now where it's enough's enough. Okay, we you've had your say-so. I got you. I hear you. I understand you. But for the love of Christ, enough's enough. We're, mm -hmm. we're enough. And I've never been a racist person I've heard racist comments from other people back in that that weren't racist back in the day, but I've heard it uh, because it's brought stuff up. Uh, now it's it's there in the media. Now they hear it every day, and now it's like, well, you know, maybe I'm like, no, 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 time out. There, there's no racist comments going to go. Mm -hmm. No, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. You, oh, no, you good to go? I mean, I'm pissed. It it brings it, it's bringing back up old feelings from people back in the day. Stop. No, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm talking to the dog. <laughs> we got they got fireworks going off and no. Well, you know, I was. And this is one thing about it. I'm I'm from the South. I'm a Southern boy. I was raised in the South, born and raised my whole life. I live in the South my whole life. And I mean, I'm deep South. Within 12 miles of my house, there's three old working slave plantations. I can take you and show you slave houses and everything else. But the thing about it is, where I was raised at, I hate to say it this way, but I didn't know I was white till I was like, 19 years old somebody called me a white boy one day but i mean you know i was never raised to see color i was never raised to see differences i was never raised to see any of that um there's not a racist bone in my body i can tell you that for a fact 
and I'll put my hand on the Bible. Anybody that knows me will tell you that. I am a firm believer in right is right, wrong is wrong, just is just. Right. You know, everything that started this, yeah, there was some wrong in it and there was some right in it. But at the same time, it's a, you know, it's a justice scale. I'm trying to get my hands on the camera. It's a justice scale. And you have to keep that, that scale balanced. I mean, but what it's gone to now, excuse my language, but it's fucking ridiculous. Yes, yes. I mean, you know, it's nothing but a it's nothing but a flat ass political scheme. You, you, is all you, it is now. You can't tell yeah. me the situation regarding this whole thing over the United States. It, everybody used that as a crutch. Mm-hmm. Everybody used it as a situation just to stir up evil. Yep. And, hey, you're protesting down in my streets, and you got a you got a legitimate beef. If you're protesting because of that, you do it legitimately. I'm okay with that. I'll, I'll go there and protest with you. I'm okay with that. But I don't know. There are so many other people who want to just stir the pot. Yeah. Does that make sense? Well, see, like the protest that happened in Georgia, I'm not going to say the town because I'm not going to specify where I work at, but anyway, the one that happened right down the road from where I work at. Yeah, probably far. There was pallets placed. And this come from people that live in the city that I work with. There was pallets placed throughout the areas that it was going to happen. The people that got crazy and did all the looting were actually bust in from a different area. Yeah. The very next day, they went to Charleston, South Carolina and did the same thing. Bust in from another area. It wasn't the people locally. It was the people bust in. And I mean, it, you know, it's went that way. God knows how many different places. And um, like Charleston, I'll tell you, Charleston, for example, I don't know if anybody remembers the Charleston shootings or not. But, um, you know, when a white boy walked into a black church and opened fire and killed everybody, yep. Al Sharpton yeah. tried to come down there and start shit. And the, the actual black community told Al Sharpton the best thing for him to do is get in his car and forget about where Charleston, South Carolina is on the map. You're telling me from that point to where, you know, I mean, we're, we've always said Charleston strong. I mean, from everything that's ever happened around here, South Carolina is a close knit, you know, state. We don't see the color. We don't see everything. So you're telling me that the violence and everything came about it that way. Nah, that's not Charleston. That's not, it just ain't the way that it happens. Well, but, uh, that's part of it. Making it bigger. Yeah. Matter of fact, it was actually on the news, on local news, not you know Facebook news. It was on local news. One of the girls that was arrested for looting actually had a New York address. So, you tell me how she wound up in Charleston. So. I seen a thing today on Facebook. I don't know if it's true or not. Uh, but there was a girl that throwed a Molotov cocktail into an NYPD suburban. She got charged. She got caught. She got charged with four counts of uh, attempted murder, four counts of attempted murder on a police officer two two counts of shit i can't remember what else it was but i mean it was a whole list of stuff one girl 19 years old just a red-headed white girl i mean i got redheads in my family so i can say (laughs) redhead it she just ruined her life if that is I mean, if that's true, if that's true, her life is gone. She's done. Yes, like I said, it's crazy. And it's the thing about it is, you know, for for somebody to sit here and watch a YouTube video or a Facebook video or something like that, of, you know, let's just use Afghanistan, for example, or, you know, certain parts of Africa and things like that. They think it's bad. <laughs> they don't know shit. 
Yeah. And it's coming. And it's coming quick. And they're going to find out what hell on earth actually is. But somebody said, um, you, you, you can't a New York teacher and bust in. Like, man, you've been there. Junkyard, you've been there, ain't you? Mm. You've been close. <laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> but yeah, hell on earth is a bad place and a bad situation to be in. I mean, I didn't want this live stream to turn into this shit tonight. It, I, not my. Yeah. yeah. But for the love of Christ, the world's got to wake up. I mean, the world doesn't have to wake up. The United States of America needs to wake the fuck up. Sorry. You know what to cure it all? Open up a Bible. Turn the news off and open up a Bible. That'd cure it all. Yeah, you can't turn the news on, though. Turn the news on the right channel. You might, might figure it out. Might. Might. Turn, turn that some bitch on to Fox News. You might. Yeah. Former Chris, she's down for the count. She hollered back here a minute ago. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> she got her phone with her. <laughs> oh, I'm not sorry for any of them. Tom, I'm, 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 I am sorry for some who won't understand what they're asking for. It will it will run through my mind, but it won't help me be unprepared. If that makes any sense whatsoever, it I will be prepared. I am prepared, and I won't have a problem. The people that are asking what they're asking for, they don't they don't know. They've never been there. They've never tried. They've never. I don't know. Let's lace up a pair of fucking boots and fucking get busy with it. We'll see what happens. Sorry. Get a little sentimental here. But I've never been in that situation. I hope to God I never am. I am prepared for it. I seen you're shaking your head over saying <laughs> I've never walked the walk, but I can somewhat talk the talk. I've trained many Marines, many soldiers, many army personnel in my day. All I can say about the whole matter is when you see a veteran, shake their hand. Yes, sir. You don't know what they've been through. Nope. Shake their hand. Tell them welcome home. Thank them for the sacrifice. Didn't mean the world to them. I can tell you that much. SLC, what's going on, young man? SLC, what's happening, brother? We were just in here shooting a Shooting the shit, just having a good time. Uh, Miss SOT is uh, <laughs> she's <laughs> right now. <laughs> Ooh. She may she may have drunk a little more than maybe she should have. So she's hanging out in a different area. I hope I hope you got the fan blowing on her. Honey, how's Ralph Bucker? Is she okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that, was, was that wrong? Fine, check in. Hey, did you did you read Southern Dirt's comment? <laughs> I'm ready for Antifa to try and shut down Sturgis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be a good one. Running back through these comments real quick. I am too. I'm trying to keep up, guys. I apologize. 
Gordon and I are here hanging out. Been in the hay field all day. Man, SLC. Woo. Down there. Woo. Mr. Gordon, you're doing all right tonight, sir. I don't know. Junkyard, what do you, what do you think? I mean, and do they have some gripes, complaints, the whole nine yards about all the shit they're griping about? Yes. Are they going about it the wrong way? Yes. Tremendously. But I'm there with them. I mean, I'm okay. I, you want to stand on the side of the fucking road and protest? Have at it, big guy. I'm there with you. Mm-hmm. You want to go break into my business? All right. We'll pull that. We'll see. Uh, but, you know, one thing about it is. We'll see where there's hell to pay. Like, you know, we, we were talking about the castle earlier. <clears throat> you you step foot into my castle. One thing about it. And I mean, for the people that's been here in a little bit, they seen when I was picking on Junior earlier. That's only some of them. But anyway, <laughs> the thing is, you better hope I'm pulling the trigger. Because if my wife pulls the trigger, you're done. I'm going to intentionally hurt you and make you wish you were dead. My wife, huh, I hope you wrote your will out before you step in the door. See, that's just the opposite of me. See, I, I've never thought that way. Uh, well, I'm not going to put that out there. I have thought about that a little bit. Uh, <laughs> about wounding the guy and blah blah blah. But you step in my castle, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put one in your head, and I ain't gonna think about it twice. No, nah, I'm I'm not that nice because I'm gonna you know I'm gonna take both your kneecaps out the starters, then I'm gonna drag you through the house and put you in the backyard and let you meet my dog. What about if he just wants to walk up to you and smell you? What's that? It all depends on what you're there for. Yeah, but I mean, you know, rob me. I'm probably gonna five couple warning shots. I'm gonna know exactly where you're at at all given times. Nah. And then if you don't leave and you just kind of hunker down, it's too late. You no, you don't fire. You don't fire a warning shot. You fire a warning shot. You let them know where you're at. Oh no, no. You make the first shot count. Today's time and days, you have to fire a warning shot. It's mandatory by the police. Tom, you're right. They're still the training set. They're going to have to deal with my kids, and they don't want that. <laughs> Kirk, I just I, I showed some of my collectibles. I don't show the real deal Holyfield, which Junior's seen some of the real deal Holyfield. So. Thank you. Junior, don't figure it out. It's, <laughs> we're on live stream, so you got to play this shit down to where it's like, yeah. Oh, I, don't my <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I just do that. Never. I mean, you know, I'm, hold, on, hold on one second. I'm going to give you a warning shot out just so nobody ever knows who, who really yeah, I mean, see, all, all I do is shoot these little ones, these little 410 rounds. That's all I got. I mean, I don't have anything more than that. I mean, I got like a 32. That's all I got. I, yeah. And I mean, like, these little things right here. No, no, no. Oh, oh. Don't, don't, don't count. No. Nah. Yeah, don't worry about that little hollow thing in the end. You know, I mean, these are these are just toys. These are paperweights. You know, it's like you can shoot those out of BB guns. Yeah, I mean, these are airsoft. That's what these are, airsoft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Southern Dirt. He's got a good point right there too. Dead dead men don't talk and can't sue because. The way the law is written, if I break into your house and I get hurt, I can sue you. So, if you make it outside my boundaries of my walls. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are some things we can't talk about on live stream that <laughs> we don't want to incriminate ourselves with. I'm going to tell you right now you break in my goddamn house, you're going to have hell to pay. You're going to have a whole lot of freaking 556 five, coming your way. <laughs> hey, catch. We're gonna we're gonna play catch. That's the best thing I can say. Jared, as long as it's not a CO two powered little daisy pistol, then yeah, it counts. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. 
Well, see, Tom, if you're a fat guy like me, you got to be carried by nine instead of six. <laughs> did you did you see the other night on uh, CNN? They did the thing where everybody's dying now, and they had heavy people, and they did the extended uh, things on the coffin. Uh -uh. <clears throat> they did a whole uh, segment on extended handles on the coffin. Well, see, we ain't got to worry about with that because we're going to take and put the forks on the bobcat, <laughs> <laughs> slide it right down the aisle, pick it up, take it out, set it on the back of the dump truck. You're probably going to be buried face down too, ain't you? Yep. Nah, I mean, whenever I get there, I don't want them lowering me down real slow. Just raise the bed on the dump truck and let me fall in the hole. Take a little dirt across me and go get drunk. Why is Sam's ass sticking out of the hole? Because he's not worried about it. He's <laughs> ass when he was dead. Yep, I want everybody to kiss my ass. This world is going to hell in a handbasket. It's just crazy. It's funny how it, it just it just hilarious how they said, "Oh, we're going to go down there with that Confederate monument." And they come down in the country, and the country said, nah, that's probably not going to happen. And they come down here, and they drove around a couple of times, and they said, well, we, it's probably best we leave. <laughs> Mr. Paul, if I lived in the UK with you, sir, I would be considered an outlaw. Because <clears throat> trust me, I'm going to have something with me at all times. Yes, sir. Paul, if you ever want me to put your name on one of my uh, unappropriated firearms, <laughs> you let me know. <laughs> I, may I, have, one, I may have to name one after that poor gentleman right there. I got one that goes, Bert, is that legal in the UK? <laughs> yeah. How, how do you spell Bert in, uh, in Paul? How, how do you spell it? I don't <laughs> if you make it pass see that's the reason I want to carry him in my backyard so he can play with my blue healer the thing about it is though if I walk out there still ain't gonna do nothing but just look at him and laugh so I have to let my wife walk out there with him so they'll have, he'll actually eat their ass up I said, the guy down here, he started raising freaking hogs. I'm like, uh -huh. why are you late raising hogs? He said, I said, I don't understand. He said, I said, the pig market is in the tank. He said, no, it ain't. He said, nobody can buy them anymore. He said, you can't buy a 60 pound pig just because. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that, that kind of makes sense. Making, you know, he said, I'm making good money. Good money. But he said, if I ever need to get rid of anybody, I got no <laughs> whatsoever. Man, it, 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 a gator talking. A, a gator will leave the bones. A hog yeah. won't leave anything. A hog, won't, a hog won't leave nothing. That's a good deal, Paul. Good deal. Always be prepared. That's my motto. Always be prepared. My my big motto is work smarter, not harder. But by George, always be prepared. Mines don't blame the lazy people. They didn't do nothing to begin with. That that is such that just blows my shit out of the water. <laughs> Don't blame the lazy people. <laughs> they didn't do anything any damn way. Hey, Mr. Paul figured out how to spell burnt. <laughs> Brandon, it will. We figured that out. We figured that out. You're good. One thing you got to get rid of is the dental records. I am talking entirely too much. I need to shut my pie hole before I get myself in trouble. You didn't see the way my eyes jumped up to the screen real quick? Oh, yeah. I stopped fixing my oh, wife on that one. 
<laughs> there are things we should not talk about on live stream. Exactly. Get rid of people is not one of them. <laughs> or is one of them. I'm sorry. And you will not find ways to get rid of people on SOTMetalworks.com. But you will find targets, signs, swag. Yes. Go to SOTMetalworks.com. Pick up all your fan name signs. Well, Mr. Yeah. Daly, I'm going to have to call it, sir. I got to go to work in the morning. All right, man. We're going to have to get off here, too. Holy yes, cow. Crazy. I got to go check on Miss SOT. <laughs> I appreciate you having me in tonight, sir. Well, we greatly appreciate it. We are thankful that you joined in with us. Guys, we're going to cut on out of here. Hopefully, you guys have a good one. Be safe and be careful. And as always, Junkyard, what do I say? <sighs> Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. We'll see y'all later. See y'all.